Hi everyone. So I have another video that I want to film today and this is a combined L3 haul. So one order was from the pre-order she had. When did I order this? April 9th. So I've had this for quite some time. I just never got around to filming a video but I do have a L3 RTS order in as well. So I thought let's just do a combined L3 haul. I think it's been a while since I've done an L3 haul so I'm like Let's just do one giant one. Um, at this point, she does have the pre-order overstock on the website. So um, I think she has like the samples, the bunts, no, not bunts, sorry. The bunt samplers and she has bitty betties and it was um, scoopables from this pre-order. I didn't get any of the scoopables, but I did get one sampler and a lot of bitty betties. Honestly, I don't even know why I got the sampler. I I don't know. I guess I just wanted to try one of them, but I really, I don't know. I'm trying to be better about not getting a whole bunch of samples, samplers, but I just got one to try. And then I also have an RTS where she had so many good loaves listed. I asked her to um, pour one loaf. She poured it, so I'm like, all right, I guess I'm just going crazy because she had so many good loaves. So I'll go into the RTS after I show my pre-order, which I might not go so, so in depth with, but I'll just kind of breeze through. Um, the sampler that I got was the Snuggle Me sampler. So it's mixed with the Snuggle laundry type. I do love laundry, but it's not something I like go to to melt as much as I do with like bakery. So I don't really know what I was thinking, but anyway. So the first one in here is Cotton Candy Craze Snuggle. So it should be like a good sweet laundry. And yeah, that smells really good. I feel like I get the laundry stronger than the Cotton Candy Craze. This one is Watermelon Spin Cycle Snuggle. So two different kind of clean laundry notes in there with watermelon. I smell the watermelon more in this one. A little bit of a laundry, but I definitely get that like watermelon artificial kind of scent. We have Fresh Pick Strawberries Snuggle Gain Island Fresh. So again, a few different laundries mixed with the strawberry, which I do love her Fresh Pick Strawberry. Ooh, this is really good. A good mixture. I definitely get the Fresh Pick Strawberry, but I also get a little bit of the laundry in the background. But I feel like the, the strawberry is predominant in that one, which I love. This one is Lemon Curd Snuggle Clothespins. So Lemon Curd, and again, Clothespins is kind of a laundry kind of a scent. It's not my favorite laundry. Oh, this bag is super thick. Yeah, I definitely get the Lemon Curd the strongest with a little bit of laundry, but it's definitely stronger lemon. This is another thick bag. I like these thick bags. This is Pink Berry Tonka Bean Snuggle. So I guess kind of a body care-ish plus laundry. What is the Tonka bean? I smell something in here that's like not my favorite. It could be the Tonka bean or is pink berry Tonka bean one, one note? This is okay. I, I'm definitely gonna have to warm it and I think I'll enjoy it on warm, but probably not something I would like look out for. So far, I like the other scents that I smelled ahead of this pink berry Tonka. This one might be like my least favorite. This one's Downy April Fresh Pink Sugar Snuggle. So again, lots of laundry notes in here. This is really good. A nice mix of pink sugar plus clean laundry notes, obviously. Okay, this is Gain Lemon Sugar Fresh Cut Grass Snuggle. This will be an amazing summertime scent. I smell the fresh cut grass in here pretty strong. I smell the fresh cut grass and I get the laundry. Maybe a little bit of lemon, but if it's there, I get like a green lemon, like, which I guess is probably from the fresh cut grass. Really, I get the grass and the laundry the most. Actually, lemon, lemon sugar, whatever that is, isn't super strong, or at least I'm not pinpointing that. And then the last one is Mallow Fluff Snuggle Blue Raspberry Jello. This is good. 
I get a little bit of that like blue raspberry. It kind of smells like a candy scent with a tiny bit of like the snuggle, but it's creamy. It's it's definitely like the mallow fluff I feel like is making it a little bit toned down. So that was my sampler that I picked up. She had a lot of different samplers. I think she had like a cookie sampler. Um, she definitely had a buttermilk pie sampler. That was like kind of the theme of this pre-order, I feel like. Oh my gosh, I did not go over my samples. Why do I have four samples in here? That's not, oh, you know what? I had one sample in this box and these three are from my other box. I already separated the samples in here and I think I gave away a few to my friend. So one of the samples I got was pumpkin peanut brittle peanut butter. And it definitely smells like a strong like peanut, like roasted peanut in a bag. That's kind of what I get the most. All right, I got a ton of Bitty Betty's. I feel like I'm gonna go through these really quickly, like kind of how I did the Snuggle Me sample because a lot of them are kind of straightforward. This first one is lemon curd. I just really wanted to get it alone. I also thought I could kick this up a notch with a bakery, make my own lemon bakery or, you know, lemon laundry, other lemon fruity. I don't know, I just wanted to get it on its own. And it is so nice, a very nice strong tart lemon. So just thought it'd be fun to grab this on its own. I also got fresh picked strawberries. She has like one of my favorite fresh picked strawberry scents. So usually I can pick these up in trig tarts, but I just thought I'll just grab it in a bitty betty because I love it so much. It's just so good. It smells like an amazing, nice, like to me kind of strawberry candy scent. I just love it. I've had it, I've rebought that multiple times already. Not gonna go too into depth. I got two sugar cookie royale bitty buddy, bitty buddy, no, bitty betties. Um, it's just an amazing sugar cookie scent. My favorite of all time of all vendors. This is one that completely transforms on warm. It smells fine on its own on cold. Not super strong, not super like memorable on cold. But whenever I go to grab this and warm this, it it's just amazing. I can't get enough of it. I always walk into the rooms. I'll just stand by the warmers and smell it. Like that's how much I love her sh sugar cookie royale. And it does amazing in blends as well. Like I, when I cut the, that up and mix it with other scents, I can always pinpoint the sugar cookie royale. It's my favorite. I got one pumpkin pecan waffles on its own. I don't know if I've had L3 pumpkin pecan waffles on its own. I've definitely had tons of blends, but maybe I have. I could be lying. I don't know. It's so good though. I just, I love pumpkin pecan waffle. Love it. Love it's on its own. Love it in any blends. This is one that I might like one of my favorite mixtures is like sugar cookie royal pumpkin pecan waffles um, or sugar cookie royal pumpkin pecan waffle zucchini bread or any of them, all three of them separate, mixed. They're just amazing. Um, let's see. And then of course, one single in zucchini bread. Again, for purposes of blending, this is the one exception that I probably wouldn't ever melt this by itself, but I love it blended. It's just, by itself, it's just a little too savory. Is savory the right word? It's just, it's not sweet or anything on its own, but it's really, really good as a blender. Um, I got buttermilk pie, which I think Angela from For the Love of Sense created this. Vanilla custard sugar cookie creme brulee pie crust. So she had so much buttermilk pie blends in this pre-order. And it's just so good. I definitely get the like creme brulee. I get like a caramel note in here. I have a feeling this is another one that is gonna transform on warm. It smells good on cold, but I feel like it is, it's gonna be amazing on warm. I've yet to melt it. I have, I think a puppy pack of buttermilk pie that maybe I should warm soon here. Um, this one I might let cure a little bit longer, but I have a feeling I'm gonna really like it. We have, a few buttermilk pie blends. This is pumpkin pecan waffles buttermilk pie. Did I need this? 
because I have buttermilk pie and pumpkin pecan waffles on its own, I could have totally blended it myself. But I just thought, you know, these are going to be great blenders mixed with anything. So I thought I can't go wrong by getting like more quantity of it. But let's see what this smells like. So, so good. I definitely, definitely get the pumpkin pecan waffle. But I feel like a little less nutty and a little bit more sweet, probably because of that buttermilk pie. It's really decadent, really good. This would be a great full time scent. Honestly, any time comfort scent, pumpkin pecan waffles, but it's just so warm that it'll be great in the fall time. And then my last buttermilk pie blend I got is zucchini bread, sugar corn pudding, and buttermilk pie. Seriously, these like, these are great kind of scents. I definitely pick up the zucchini bread. That's what I get the most. Yeah, zucchini bread, a little bit more sweetness on the bottom, but zucchini bread is what I'm smelling um, on cold the most in this blend. And like I said, if any of these sound good to you, definitely check out the L3 website because she posted a ton of the overstock. Some things might be sold out by now because I think she posted that um, on Friday. Friday the 10th of June so a few things might be sold out but I bet you have pretty good chances to grabbing some if it's um still on the website Ooh, this is really good so I don't know if I said it white elephant exchange zucchini bread pumpkin pecan waffles cream cheese frosting really good I feel like I feel like I get the zucchini bread pumpkin pecan waffles for sure White Elephant Exchange sometimes gets kind of lost in blends, at least on cold. And cream cheese frosting, I'm sure, is in there too, making it a little bit more sweet. But seriously, these are like, I've kind of learned my lesson, I guess aside from getting the sampler, the Snuggle Me sampler, I've kind of know what scents I'm like absolutely gonna love. So even though I got a lot that are like similar, I just know I love them. And these are like core scents that I wanna always have in my collection. And then the last one is sugar corn pudding, the burrow. And the burrow is a nice like cinnamon um, bakery kind of a scent. It's one of her Harry Potter blends. This is so decadent. It smells like a buttery cinnamon sugar bakery. It's, it's amazing. This is like really good. I love it. This smells amazing on cold. So that's what I picked up from the pre-order. Then I got, yes, that's my pre-order invoice. I got a huge RTS order. This is in her large flat rate box. It's been a while since I kind of went crazy on L3 and I just couldn't resist. You'll see, honestly, a lot of these, a few of these blends are really similar to what I got in the pre-order. This RTS was before she posted the pre-order overstock, um, but they're just blends that like, I just, like I said, I always want in my collection, so I'm fine with stocking up on them. These are the samples I got in this order. So we got one scoopable sample, which is Kiwi Starfruit Guava. And yeah, just a good summery tropical fruit kind of a, a scent. Let's see, it's a scoopable, so it's really not popping out well. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm just like destroying it. But yeah, just a good summer scent. Not something I would probably pick up like on its own or anything, but good to try out for the summer. Pumpkin pecan waffle sugar cookie royale espresso. Mm -hmm. Good coffee blend. This is definitely something that sounds up my alley. The espresso is very like deep. Almost comes off a bit like... Like coffee blends always come off a little funky on cold, but they always warm up and smell so good on warm. Definitely pick up that kind of funky espresso, but I know this is going to be a really good blend because I love all the notes in here. And then Mrs. Doubtfire, she had this in a Bitty Betty Loaf in her pre-order. Um, this is like a um, lemon coconut cream pie kind of a scent. Yeah, it's super good, super creamy. I definitely pick up the coconut. This is really good. So those were my samples. I got a few 
kind of random things. This is my only four pack of four pack. Yeah, four pack of fluted tarts I picked up. I'm so sad I missed out on the two pack bunt strawberry bread zucchini bread. I really wanted that, but I was at work the time this released and I was I was actually at a work picnic that day, so I wasn't going to be like on my phone trying to place an order at the work picnic with like all my coworkers there and stuff. So I was able to grab pretty much everything else on my list. That was the only thing I remember that was sold out when I made my order later in the day on Friday. But this one's right up my alley too. Strawberry white cake, fresh picked strawberry, strawberry sugar. I'll put all the price information in the description box. This is just amazing. I knew I was gonna love it. I've picked up scents like this before in the past. I have scents like this in my collection. It's a go-to, one of my favorite staple kind of blends. Smells really good. Off the bat, I definitely pick up the Fresh Pick Strawberries, number one. It doesn't smell super, super heavy bakery. Definitely a nice strawberry bright kind of a scent. I got three two-pack buns. I got a whole bunch of um, bougie bars, and then I got a lot of loaves. This one is almond cookies with the clauses. Santa's on keto, Mrs. Claus's cookies, and sugar milk. Is that right? Oh, cookies with the clauses. That's probably the note, the scent notes of that. I double bagged this because there was a, um, it ripped. The bag had a little rip in it. I don't know if you can see that right there, but it had a little tear in it, so I already double bagged it. But yeah. Again, it's a little funky because of the sugar milk on cold. Sugar milk notes or like milky, creamy notes on cold can come off a little sour milk. And I pick up a little bit of a funky sour milk note, but I feel like it'll warm really good. I've had sugar milk scents before where I really don't think I'm going to like them. And then on warm, they surprise me. Kind of like coffee. I think I've said this before. Coffee and milky kind of notes can be weird on cold, but they're usually really good on warm. So I thought I'd pick this one up. Sugared corn pudding, brown sugar, pound cake, zucchini bread. Again, just a staple blender kind of a scent for me. It smells really good. Strong zucchini bread is what I'm picking up on cold here but I'm sure all those other notes will come out when I go to warm. Fresh cut grass, fresh picked strawberries, and rainstorm. I got this just for fun for the summertime. A few fresh cut grass notes. I thought too I could also warm this with other fruity notes. It smells floral. I wonder if the rainstorm has some like floral notes in there. It smells like a grass floral. I really don't pick up the strawberry. If anything, it Maybe it's adding a little bit of sweetness to the blend, but if I didn't know fresh picked strawberries was in here, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be like looking for that note. Definitely fresh picked, fresh cut grass and rainstorm is what's, what I'm picking up the most in this one. Smells really good. Will be a nice kind of blend to mix in there every now and again, especially in the summertime months. I was going to say springtime, summertime, but we're kind of out of spring. It's pretty much summer now. Next week, it's supposed to be in the 90s. So we're pretty much in summertime now. You guys, I got a ton of bougie bars. Look at this. Look at all my bougie bars. I cannot get enough. Look at this color. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but this is like hot pink. This would be a gorgeous nail polish color. This, I'm a little scared. I think it's going to be a, a stainer, a dish stainer, but whatever. I'll survive because this is just so gorgeous. This is strawberry pound cake, brown sugar pound cake, zucchini bread. Smells so good. I'm so glad I was able to at least pick up this blend. This blend, I think, sold out shortly after I made my order. Like I said, I wasn't able to get the strawberry bed, bread, zucchini bread, two-pack buns, but I was able to grab this bougie bar, and it smells amazing. I definitely get that strawberry pound cake. I picked that up right away. Strawberry pound cake, brown sugar, pound cake, zucchini bread. It smells like strawberry pound cake. Like, that's what I pick up number one. Maybe zucchini bread in the background, but it smells really strong on the strawberry bakery, which 
I'm glad about. One Fruit Loop cheesecake because I love L3's Fruit Loop mixed with cheesecake. Yes. It's so good. L3's Fruit Loop is really, really strong. I've noticed when it's mixed with other notes, Fruit Loop zucchini bread, Fruit Loop cheesecake. I really only pinpoint the Fruit Loop. It's just so strong. It kind of takes over the blend. So this is one I would recommend if you want to kick it up a notch on bakery, tone down the Fruit Loop. You'd probably have to do some blending. So this one I could definitely blend with you know, sugar cookie royale, zucchini bread, the buttermilk pie. I might experiment. I have a ton. The reason I got four of these bougie bars was A, because I love it so much. I've warmed this before and I just love it. So I thought, and I love her, I love her bougie bars. They're so easy to use. So I did get four Santas on keto. Vanilla ice cream, vanilla wafer, vanilla cookie, brown sugar, butter cookies. I know it, it's like just a ton of bakery notes. This is like sugar cookie royale. Where on cold, it's really nothing special. Like, I don't know. I, I barely even smell it, to be honest. But this is one of those bakery blends that completely transforms and is amazing on warm to the point where I was like, if I see this in loaves, I would pick it up. I saw it in bougie bars. I grabbed four because I remember loving this so much. We have blueberry cobbler birthday cake. I think I recently got this in two pack buns, but I love blueberry bakery. So I was like, let me just grab it. Her bougie bars are super affordable. I think they're for sure less than $4. I think they're like $3.95. So good. Definitely get that blueberry cobbler for sure. I'm um, not sure if I pinpoint birthday cake necessarily, but for sure the blueberry cobbler. Her bougie bars are beautiful. If you've never um, melted them before, they do have the mica glitter. None of L3's other forms of her wax have glitter in them, but the bougie bars, they do have the mica glitter, just to let you know in case you don't like glitter. Oh, this smells so good. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, zucchini bread, don't cross streams. So, so, so good. I don't really pick up the don't cross streams, but I get a really good mix of pumpkin pecan waffles and zucchini bread. We have strawberry sugar cookie. I don't know, is sugar cookie different than sugar cookie royale? Are those different scent notes? I wasn't really sure, but it smells so good. It smells like her fresh picked strawberries. Maybe sugar cookie royale, I don't know, but I for sure pick up like kind of a strawberry candy kind of a note. So this is amazing. This is one, I'll definitely warm it, but maybe this is another one where I can kick it up with a little more bakery. So good though. And look at that, the bougie bear bars. I love the ombre. We have strawberry ice cream scoop bread. Again, that's the ombre. This is really good too. It smells like it's again, the strawberry is the fresh pick strawberry, I think. Honestly, I don't know what ice cream scoop bread is. Like, I don't know if I'm pinpointing them. These two smell pretty similar. Like, I'm definitely getting a fresh picked strawberry note. Maybe a bakery note in the background, but the fresh picked strawberries is what I'm picking up the most. Blueberry muffin strawberry pound cake. You guys will see a theme here. I got a, so much strawberry pound cake, strawberry blends in here. And you know what? I don't regret it. It's my absolute favorite. These are my go-to scents. I'm kind of... Every once in a while, like, I'll go out of my comfort zone and grab scents. Like, you know, this fresh cut grass, fresh picked strawberries, rainstorm. Like, that's not something I would always grab. But I'm like, these kind of scents in the bougie bars, in the loaves you'll see, these are just my go-to scents. I love them. I never want to be out without them in my collection. So I'm like, why not just grab them and pick them up? This is really good, too. Blueberry muffin strawberry pound cake. I think it's a really good even mix of both. I definitely get the strawberry pound cake and I definitely get a light little blueberry bakery note in the background of this one too. We have sunwashed linen strawberry sugar. Strawberry sugar I think is strawberries and pink sugar mixed with a little bit of a laundry. Ooh, that's good. Something smells slightly floral. I wonder if sunwashed linen has a little bit of like a floral note. Like, you know, you wash your 
um, clothes and they're drying in the sun, in the breeze, and you know, you get a little bit of a floral note if you have a garden right next to the laundry line. I don't know. It's good, but like I said, a little bit of like a floral, almost like dandelion note is what I'm picking up in here. I get the sun wash linen more than I get the strawberry sugar. And then my last bougie bar before we wrap it up with the loaves is just plain old strawberry pound cake. I don't have this in my collection from L3 anymore. I did have a loaf of this at one point, but I used that up a while ago. Oh, it's just so amazing. I love L3 strawberry pound cake. L3 has so many of my favorite blends and scent oils. She's definitely up there in one of my top vendors. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this one. I just wanted to grab, I just grabbed one because I have so many blends with strawberry pound cake, but just wanted to grab one bougie bar of it on its own. All right, you guys, seriously. Okay, I'm not gonna smell this because we already went through it, but someone requested strawberry, sorry, strawberry. Someone requested sugar cookie royale in loaves. I told myself like, if I see this in loaves, I'm stocking up because I love mixing this. So we got a loaf of sugar cookie royale on the same line here. This is the one I requested. I'm almost, or did I finish this? I had a loaf recently, sugar cookie royale and zucchini bread. Absolutely loved it. Yes, I can blend them, but honestly, I would much rather have sugar cookie royale zucchini bread blended than getting a zucchini bread loaf on its own. This is one that I would even just melt on its own because it's so good. So a loaf of this. We have Fat Bottom Girl Santa's on Keto. I got this because I love Santa's on Keto. I've definitely had this variation before. I think I have it in scoops. I've had it in blends, but again, for the purposes of blending, I just really wanted to grab it. And it's good. I mean, it smells like it's going to be a good bakery on warm. It's one of those where I feel like L3's bakery, like don't judge it on cold sniff. You definitely need to warm it. And then trust me, they come alive. Pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie royale, zucchini bread. Someone must have requested this. I was looking at the post when she was like calling for the bitty, no, calling for the basic Betty scent requests. Everyone who requested, I'm like, oh, this is so good. Like, 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 like so many of the core scents I love. And then you'll see with the strawberry blends too, this was just like, I couldn't pass up some of these loaves. So I've had this before. I actually had this in my custom order. I love it so much. It's just amazing. I smell the, sh the zucchini bread pretty strong on cold, but trust me, those other bakery notes are gonna come alive on warm. Then we have some strawberry. This one is strawberry jam, cream cheese frosting, sugared shortbread. L3 strawberry jam is like unmatched. I love it. It is so powerful, so long lasting. Like you can use this in very small amounts. If you put this in all of your different warmers, you're going to be like blown out of your house. It's so strong. Her strawberry jam lasts forever in the warmers. It is so, so good. So good. Any strawberry jam blend that you see, it would be amazing. Her strawberry jam tends to take over blends. So that's pretty much well what I smell number one in this blend. She also has a scent called Lighting the Menorah that has strawberry jam in it. That is amazing. Aunt's Jam Phil Jelly Rolls has strawberry jam. Amazing. I recommend anything with strawberry jam. Anything with strawberry jam, fresh picked strawberries or sugar cookie or strawberry pound cake of L3s, fabulous. Okay, this one's strawberry pound cake summer scoop sugar cookie dough and waffle cone. I just thought I'd start picking up some more strawberry blends just because I am going into my collection and I'm starting to pull out some of my older loaves, which a lot are strawberry. So I'm starting to go through some strawberry loaves. So I just want to make sure I always have them on hand in my collection. Oh, it's just so good. I definitely get the strawberry pound cake. Summer scoop comes off to me. It's supposed to be like a creamy strawberry ice cream, but usually it comes off kind of like fresh picked strawberries to me. That's amazing. And then the last loaf I got here is strawberry pound cake, 
sugar cookie, dough, and vanilla ice cream. Just thought, like seriously, anything strawberry, bakery, it's just amazing. Oh, I love it. I definitely get the strawberry pound cake and I think the sugar cookie vanilla ice cream, just great blenders, great adding just additional sweetness to this blend, but it's just so good. Highly recommend L3. Like I said, she's one of my favorite vendors. I feel like I usually always get good performance. It tends to always be at least medium in strength usually. It varies in longevity. Like I said, strawberry jam, the strawberry scents I feel like tend to last a pretty decent amount, but some scents can be kind of like after a few hours, I'm ready to change them, but I'm totally fine with that as long as I get a strong scent for a few hours, I'm good because I love changing my wax anyway. I know that was a lot. I know it was a lot of the same kind of scents, but these are, these are my go-tos. This is what I love. So yeah, let me know. Have you purchased anything from L3 recently? Um, like I said, she just restocked the pre-sale overstock on her website. I think her next um, RTS is on Friday the... 17th is that the next restock um so look out for that she's already starting her um her scent restock list on facebook and on her website so take a look at that if you're interested in purchasing from l3 yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye